Hey guys, I'm at Interbike. I saw Liam from Ohm. How's it going, buddy? I'm good, Court. How are you? I'm great. You know, we were just hanging out in Vancouver. You took me on these awesome rides. I actually reviewed the Sport and the Urban, and then there's the Mountain. Yep. It's coming up. It's coming up. That was that was a great time. We we're riding on the trail, but you've got some 2018 updates. Something we didn't even talk about yeah. when I visited. Can you give me the rundown? So new for 2018, we have the step through model. Um, it's available in four sizes. Wow, um, there we go. Yeah, I want to get the angle on this thing. Look at that bottle cage bosses here. Yeah. You yeah. know how I like that. And then I guess approachability, is that what we're going totally. for? Totally. You know, some people, they, they just don't have the flexibility to get over, you know, the, a full size frame. So the step through, it's a, it's a great option for those sorts of people. Okay, and it yeah. looks like you're using the same advanced bionics. You got the removable color display, you mm -hmm. got the D series motor, yep. super powerful. Yep. Are there any other, you know, what are, what are the main differences between this? And does it have frame sizes? You have multiple sizes? Four different frame sizes, Whoa. yeah. So uh, this is going to be available in a 15 inch. That's a big difference from the others that are only available in a 16 and a half. Oh. Um, for those smaller people who need a smaller bike, uh, this is a good option. Um, other differences are, uh, it, this is going to be available in two models. So in the 500 watt, or also a 350. I didn't know they had a D-Series with a three, or is it a, is it the smaller hub? It's the smaller hub, yeah. Oh, okay, so, and is there a, pr a big price gap price there? Price difference, yeah. So that one's gonna come in at uh, $299.90. Wow. So just under three grand. Uh, can be okay, and like, so that's interesting to hear, because I've seen a lot of D-Series out there, because it's, I mean, frankly, I'm looking at analytics for my website, and it's a lot of guys. You know, a lot of guys are maybe early adopting electric bikes or into the mountain bikes and stuff, and you guys have some sportier products. Yep. But offering something like a 350 watt motor, that's that's very still very capable, and you mm -hmm. still have like the regen, and it's a gearless direct drive hub motor, very quiet. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so that's phenomenal. I'm, I'm actually kind of excited to hear that. Um, it's also going to be aesthetically like a little bit, a little bit smaller than this. Yeah. But if you're a, maybe a heavier rider or you plan to use that rack and you have a lot of hills like in Vancouver, yeah. when you got the D series, which is very capable. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Just kind of feeling it out with you. Are there multiple colors or is it this nice? This is the blue. Um, this is the the color that we chose, a fairly neutral color and looks looks great. It does. Uh, you know, the the mountain is kind of like this green color, is, if yeah. I remember right. Yeah. yeah. So each each model has its own specific color. And then I noticed you have this body float going on over there with the urban. Is that an option you could also upgrade to if if you've got the city? Yeah, totally. So it's an option that we can put on all of our bikes. A uh, great option for people who just want a little bit more comfort. It's good to know, but if you're listening to this and you're thinking that sounds cool, at least you do have a suspension fork, and if you had to lower the saddle, the suspension it posts, they raise it by a few inches, so it's it's a consideration. You probably, you know, you guys offer really good customer service. You can mm -hmm. try to help guide people in the right direction, yep. fit-wise and accessory-wise. I want to just take another look. What's going on here? What's with this window thing? So that's actually to add stiffness. An issue with a lot of step-through bikes is they're just not very stiff because they don't have the top tube, um, specifically to make the bike a, a stiff bike. Huh. Yeah. That's awesome. Well, you know, you've still got the minimalist, kind of cool accents, logos, and stuff going on. Uh, but how it rides, and unfortunately, I haven't, I haven't gotten a review or track test ride this one yet. But you're right. A lot of times, the step throughs, the wave frames, there's like the frame flex going on. Exactly. So at least you, you know, you've moved the battery weight up forward on the bike versus having a rack mounted battery. Mm -hmm. Those motors, do you know how much the D-Series weighs? I mean, it's... D-Series weigh about nine pounds. Nine pounds, yeah. Because yeah. considering how big they look, it's actually mostly air in there. Yeah, totally. For yeah. cooling and, and you still get a mechanical advantage. It's a really neat system if you guys, if you're new to, you know, ohm bikes or the Bionic system and you've got the Supernova headlight and there's that removable display. I just love that thing, being able to take that in if you're your commuter. Looks like this has hydraulic disc brakes as well with adjustable reach. Wow, that's nice. So on the fly, if you're wearing some gloves or you have the smaller hands, yeah. it seems like a really outfitted, really well outfitted bike. How much is the, the D-Series if you if you get that? The D-Series is uh, $3,600. Okay, so it's another so, $600. So it's a $600 upgrade. For the motor yeah. upgrade. And the battery is the same for both of them? Same battery, yep. Do you know how the voltage and amp hours on that? Uh, it's 11.6 uh, amp hours, yeah. uh, 48 volt. 
Wow, yeah. yeah, 48 volts, so you get that power. You for... get the power, you get the 555 watt hour, so, you know, good range. And it's that. the same battery? So I didn't know they that Bionics had a 350 watt motor that would work with the 48 volt battery pack. Yeah, yeah, it's the same wow. battery that they've had. Fantastic, well, yeah. so what's your website, Liam? Uh, ohmcycles.com. Ohmcycles.com, okay, any other, anything else to say for 2018? Uh, that's that's about it really. We're doing a, a narrow wide chain ring on all our bikes as standard as well, just to help with chain retention. Oh yeah, so that's the, the teeth. So you go from a narrow tooth to a wide tooth and it fits it fits more precisely yeah, and probably gets better grab on that chain. Yeah, exactly. That's like kind of the mountain biking heritage. You need to see that on a city bike. Exactly. You know, some people when they're riding, uh, hopping off curves and stuff aggressively, they, they'll drop a chain. So this is uh, really designed to fix that. That's nice because some bikes have like a chain keeper or plates, extra plates, but that adds weight. And it sounds like the narrow wide keeps the chain on track Simplifies pretty well. Simplifies things, yeah. Okay, well that's good. For, for people who, uh, you know, my name's Court, I do electric bike review, and I have reviewed the other bikes, so there's more information um, on the website for that, and I guess that's it, Liam, I hope you have a great show. All right, thanks, Court. Later.